Well, speaking of allergies, I know Sydney Welch and I, we have been struggling mm. with our allergies, and today was a bad day. Today, a bad day, yeah. Uh, we have more of that coming. Uh, the grass pollen season, so the pine pollen season's going, grass pollen season. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we got the summer heat too, Glenn. Well, you Summer's know what? If you're not an allergy sufferer, this yeah. parade of perfect days has yeah. been right up my alley. And Wait it's until nice we to get outside. to the, yeah, right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Wait until we get to the end of the week and the weekend too. Oh, because <laughs> you're going to end the parade. Is that what it is? Well, on Thursday. Well, yeah, uh, that does end, but then we go into another dry spell coming up at the end of the week and the weekend. 84 for a high today. What's not to love about that, right? 70s on Cape Cod. So we chalk one up in the 80s. We only have four days so far this spring that have been in the 80s, eight days in the 70s, and oh, the 50s. We love those days. 32 of them, a whole month's worth. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, did you know there was a, a tornado in Quebec just to the southwest of Montreal by about 40 miles? And this was yesterday, so that was something to say, because we haven't seen any tornadoes in New England at all. And back to Jersey, we've seen one in New York State so far this year. And so we're waiting, right? Nothing going yet. It's all quiet here. 71 in Boston, 62 in Worcester. Our dew points have dropped back into the lovely range of the 50s. And this mild air will stick around. The humidity will stay suppressed here right on through the weekend and into early next week, too. So there's cake and eat it, too, in that forecast. 75 tomorrow. This is a beautiful day. A lot of sunshine. Some clouds start to sneak in. And then we sink the battleships here on Thursday. What's going on? The bottom drops out. We go back into the lower 60s. This is a day with a northeast breeze. And we're also conjuring up a weather system that could produce some heavy bouts of rain. Now, it looks like it's pretty innocuous here, right? Just a couple of showers popping up. But there's some unstable air here. So maybe we could cook up a thunderstorm, too. Most of that should be from Plymouth south through Cape Cod and onto the islands because that's where we sneak into some milder air. But that doesn't mean we couldn't see a downpour through Boston up to the North Shore. And this will carry on into the afternoon. There could be some sun that tries to sneak back into the picture late day back across Worcester County. But it's too little too late to save the temperatures. So chalk Thursday up to a wet day. There will be a couple of downpours. There will be pauses between the showers too. So it's not like pouring every minute of the day. Friday coming back to 70 degrees. And next week, Monday through Friday, look at this. The entire country is above normal, essentially, especially in the West and perhaps in New England as well. That'll push us back up into the low 80s. 63 tonight, partly cloudy, less humid, a bit cooler overall. Extended forecast, a stretch of dry weather from Friday through Tuesday with a warming trend. That is nice. Maybe getting into some thunder next week, starting in the middle of the week. We're back after the break.